level three upgrade. So the next thing I want to take care of is his body. It is beat up. Not to mention it's green. Good for bashing. However, look wise, eh, it's a bit lacking. And since I'm going for that orange theme, this is just not going to do. So I'll keep that just to mess around with. But I have this brand new body. This was donated to me by Coyote0976. Brand spanking new. Thanks again, man. As you can see, it is the Traxxas body, so it has all the parts in there that the stock body came with. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. And there you have it. It also includes the fin as well as the screws to hold it in and a ton of stickers. I mean, check this out. It's awesome. Now, for the colors, I'm going to be using three, orange, black, and white. I really don't know what the theme is going to be. But one thing I know for sure is I'm not going to have clear windows on the rally. These windows are just too big and I think it's going to look rather awkward having clear windows. So I am actually going to use the window stickers, which makes my job easier because that's less masking for me to do. So let's go ahead and figure out a design and get this thing painted. Okay, so it took me a while, but this is how it's going to go. This bottom part that you see cut out. I'm going to do a thin layer of orange and then it's going to be backed by black. Then this part in between this orange stripe and the flames is going to be completely jet black, followed by the orange stripe. It's going to be on each side. And then finally, the top is going to be white. The scoop is going to be black as well as the rear, this scoop right here. So let's see if it turns out as good as I hope it's going to turn out. So while the paint is drying on the body, I'm going to go ahead and replace the front foam bumper. This was also donated by Coyote0976. Thanks again! Just doesn't end. Well, actually, this is the last thing, so... <laughs> but anyways, the other one on there, well, it's a bit beat up, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace it with this one. First step is I'm going to be taking out these two screws, followed by these three bottom ones. With those five screws removed, all I have to do is pull the front off. Now, the last part is taking out these two top screws. And now I can easily just pull all of this apart. There's the old bumper. We're going to go ahead and just throw that away. <laughs> Slide the new bumper in there. That looks a hell of a lot better. And now, just put it back together, put in those two screws, and then slide it back on to the front of the chassis. Now that the new bumper is installed, it's time to go ahead and see how the body turned out. And there's the body. Now there's a couple of things that I've done with this that I haven't usually done with any other RC. There's some silver flakes that I put down before I laid down the white. And in the black border, I put a light layer of orange and I want it to just be subtle because I did not want it to be this bright. <laughs> But I think it turned out really good and it's going to look even better once I pull off that protective plastic and add the decals. And there you have it guys. This body is done with. At first I was a bit afraid that these flames on the sides and front and back were going to be too dark. But now that I look at it, I love how they turned out. It added a whole other dimension to the whole paint job. One thing I didn't do however was paint the fin. From my experience, fins get beat up really easily and when you paint them yourselves the paint gets scratched off and then it looks even worse so I just kept it clear and funny enough I actually like it clear <laughs> I thought it was gonna look kind of cheesy being clear but no it once again just turned out to be better than I thought so I hope that I did this body justice thanks again coyote for the awesome donation but this RC is finally up to code and is looking really good. And that was a level three upgrade for Coyote.